to a Compact Corner tutorial. This tutorial is being brought to you by Kyo aka Kyanza. Today I'm going to show you how to get a complete effect in Photoshop. Um, so this is my desktop background. Now, um, first of all, what you want to do is, is open up your browser, in my case we're using the Firefox, go to www.dathon.com. Um, once you're here, you want to type in graffiti into the search bar as so and once you've done that um select the font you want um in this case just for example i'm going to use this and hit download pc mac uh, os x once you've done that you want to save the file um, like so and then um, basically open it up, um, it will be in a zip file, so if you've got WinWAR, that's it, anything like that, um, that's good. By the way, you want to remember what this is called, um, Amsterdam Graffiti, and I'd just like to point out again, the computer isn't normally this slow, it's just because I have Camtasia Studio uh, recording. So let's just hit the extract button. Um, extract. There we go. Um, and then you just want to install it. So what I normally do is go to Control Panel. We'll just wait for that to load. Appearance and themes. Then I normally select fonts and just drag and drop it in. It's pretty easy. Well, then once you've done that, you want to find yourself a picture of a brick wall. What I normally do is, is just search this on dogpile.com for the images. Um, I've got a tutorial on dogpile on my Kyanza account and check out my website www.kylejohnwilson.co.ir. So in the images, check out uh, brick. Um, find the one you want. I will use. Oh, by the way, try to pronounce something like um, I don't know, image shack, shack, photo, something like this. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to choose a, you know, one from Dog Pile. So, I'll just go back to the first page and choose one from there. I'll just choose this one. This one's cool. So, you want to click it, then just File, uh, Save Image As. Uh, and save it. I've already got this image, so this will only really pop up for me. Okay. Now you can close your Internet Explorer. Uh, and then go into your Photoshop. I'm using 6.0. Um, yeah. And you want to go to your well, once it's loaded. Here we go. So you want to go to File, Open, and wherever you saved your image. Um, yeah, so wherever you saved it. So, once you've done that, uh, yeah, just open it up and choose the color of your text. Um, for this, I'm going to choose red and black. And then I'm just going to switch them around because I want. Well, you'll see why I did that. Then you want to choose your font. 
size you want, in my case you want it just 72, and just type whatever you want to type, so this one you can type out, so I'm also trying to make it a bit bigger, Select just buy it. So when you press stay on that, it will stay. Okay, so what I need to do is, is select a really small slider way in, say five. So when you press like enter, it will take it down a bit and you know. But I'm just going to keep it as this one now because I'm happy with that. Um, yeah. And then you want to just finish that text layer. I normally do it by just uh, creating a new layer down here. And then swapping the colors uh, around, which is here. Then I create an even bigger text layer. And yeah, I'm going to just try to By the way, here is where you want to change your 200 to 5. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Maybe I didn't do this. I'm pretty sure you get a message. Then you have to try and pinpoint it kind of like over it. So that looks pretty cool. This is why I, I selected five because it just gets like so small that um, you know it's accurate. So that's it, and then just save as a JPEG or whatever you want. Just go. Sorry, let's end this text layer. So just go to file, save as um, JPEG, then. So there we go, thank you for watching and I hope this helped.